this video is an extremely hard one to make and the fact that I have tried to film this numerous times and deleted the footage because it didn't sound right or I didn't feel that my words were enough but the fact that this video is so hard to make tells me that it is the right thing to make and that it is the right thing to do. Racism is still a big part of the world, sadly, and an innocent man got his life taken because of it. As I'm sh sure most of you have heard already about George Floyd, black lives matter. All lives matter. And it's still such a heartbreaking thing to think that our systems, our criminal systems, our justice system, our political system are so heavily rigged and prejudiced against people of colour. And it is a really heartbreaking thing. And to the family of George Floyd, if you have somehow found this video in my heart goes out to you. I can't imagine what it's like to lose a family member in front of millions of people to heartless, cruel, racist people. It shouldn't have ever happened once and it should never ever happen again. So this video is my way of trying to help. In this video, I will be doing what I can at my part. In the description, there will be links to petition, donation, resources, and other bits of information as well. And there will be links to certain YouTubers and some of their videos because their videos inspired me to do this and one of those especially is Rachel Ballinger. At this point she posted her video about five, six hours ago and she what she's doing now is any money that any of her videos on her channel make today is going towards charities and donations to help with Black Lives Matter. And I did get the idea from her to do this video where I do this intro and then pop up quotes of well and read them. This video is a very serious one. One that no one should ever have to make. No one should ever have lost family members to racism. But unfortunately, because of the world we live in, even though it is 2020, people have not learned. And this is where we come in. This is where we should be standing with black people. We should be standing with everyone and trying to protect everyone and make the world a better place. A safer place so that everyone feels safe. No one is worried about being beaten up or killed or having to deal with racism or feel like the whole world is against them. This is our chance to help fight and this is our chance to help as much as possible. So yeah. There comes a time when silence is betrayal Martin Luther King Jr. Pro-black isn't anti-white. Selling cigarettes choked to death. Broken headlights shot dead, selling CDs shot dead, we'll stop saying black lives matter when America starts acting like they do. All lives can't matter until black lives matter. Show racism the red card. His name was George Floyd. He couldn't breathe. We wouldn't have to have black lives matter if we hadn't had 300 years of black lives don't matter. If we 
Knowledge is when you think something is not a problem because it's not a problem to you personally. Lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Be clear, we said black lives matter. We never said only black lives matter. That was the media, not us. In truth, we know all lives matter. We've supported your lives throughout history. Now we need your help with Black Lives Matter. For black lives are in danger. Dear white people, people of colour trying to preserve their cultural identity is not segregation. Segregation is a system that y'all enacted in order to disadvantage black people specifically and keep them on the same level as slaves without them being slaves. Buried up to our necks in a history of violence and brutality against people of colour. I refuse to be silent anymore. America hates that we say black lives matter. We hate that we have to say it at all. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemy, but the silence of our friends.